Here is a fairly common mistake I see a lot of students make. We take one living group, which is the bromine in this case, and we replace it with another group, which is the tosylate. However, this is wrong, and this reaction is not going to work the way it is written. The first thing that you should have asked yourself is, where exactly did this oxygen come from? The tosyl group, OTS, is this guy, where this portion is our TS and the oxygen is, well, the oxygen. Tosyl chloride, TSCl, is this structure, where, again, this portion of the molecule is our tosyl and the chlorine is, well, again, a chlorine. So, in order to get that tosylate as a functional group in your product, the leaving group that we have over here cannot be a bromine, it has to be something oxygen-containing, something like an OH group. So, remember that the formation of the sulfonate ester is a reaction of alcohols. So, if my starting material was an alcohol, then I could treat it with the tosyl chloride in the presence of pyridine and make the corresponding tosylate, where the oxygen of my product comes from the oxygen in the starting material. So, remember that each set of conditions that you have works for a specific functional group in order to give you the product that you want. And don't just slap your reagents over the reaction arrow mindlessly.